Hello, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Charlie, and this is a very special little episode one for Zombie Cure Labs. This is Terabyte's new game. I have on the video with me today, Becca. She's community manager at Terabytes. Hey. And uh, I've got Jens, who is creative director of Zombie Cure Lab. Hi. Hi, Jens. Hi. Uh, they're both here with me in spirit and in audio to share the game with us, answer some questions, and give us a tour of their new game. And if we like it, well, maybe we'll just keep playing it all the way to the end and have some wonderful zombie fun. Uh, I'm going to hit new game. The, the premise of the game, as I understand it, is that the world has already been overrun by zombies. And instead of the typical go out and, you know, kill them again, uh, it's now we're focused entirely on curing the problem and turning them back into normal functioning human beings. Is that That's accurate? Exactly. And you're doing that because you are the nice Canadian guys. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. So it looks to me like the scientists at Moose Lab have been working on a cure for a while. And we already have. We start the game already with a cure kind of ready. Is that That's it. Like there's a there's a, a kind of a, not, not a full cure, but like you can at least start the process. And so we, yeah. we're going out on an expedition and setting up in the real world outside of our cave now to yeah. cure the zombies. Yeah, it's it's called Glimmer One. It's the first antidote of um... If they have developed further and it creates the first zombie human hybrids. All right, cool. Um, so uh, I think I I've, I've briefly touched the tutorial. I'm talking like five minutes of my time and then I had to go. Um, <laughs> so like enough to where I knew the game would function today. Um, so uh, we're not going to do the tutorial because I got you, you guys here. So I think I'll just go normal. Yeah, we'll start with normal. I'll start with normal, and we're going to have 15 available scientists. Is this all the scientists we ever get? Nope. You'll get no. more if you upgrade your main storage here. Okay, so we can get more later. Good. Uh, and we start with 800 wood, looks like some vegetables, various different supplies. And depending on the difficulty, you start with a lot more of those supplies or a lot less. Uh, so that seems nice. Okay, so this is good. I can I could just going to keep it zombie cure lab, I guess. I don't really mind... Uh, what it's uh, what it's called. I have no idea if my camera's in a good spot here, so I might just move it out of the way temporarily, just so people can be like, "Look, there's something here that you guys didn't see." Eh? See, look, <laughs> there's things underneath me. See? Okay. Good. All right. Maybe I'll move it around later for myself. All right. Here we go. So this is um, we're playing pre-early access today because it's being recorded before it's released. But the game comes out December fourth. 7th. Yeah, on the 7th, we we'll release the game. Everything but you can already okay. uh, release your video on the 4th. <laughs> oh, good! So, yes, it comes, so it comes out on the 4th for me. That's good. <laughs> All right. I knew I saw the 4th somewhere. I was just trying to figure it out. Uh, okay. Yeah, Games Curl in Early Access already contains a lot of content and basic vi versions of the game. All right. So the first thing I get to do... Ooh, I get to place this wherever I want. Yeah, oh, exactly. you shouldn't have done that. Now I can cheese this. Let's see. Uh, <laughs> let's see. So we got a tunnel there. Tunnel there. So the zombies always come out of the tunnels? Always? Yeah, always from the tunnels and from all the tunnels. And so, will the game and... allow me to make a fence around the tunnel to block it? Sure. It will. Ooh. It's a valid strategy, yeah. It will work. Okay, well... Unfortunately, since there are three of them, I don't think I can do that right away. So um, let's find a way to defend ourselves against all three at once. I'm thinking over here, and actually, I'm thinking if I use some of these rocks as like a free fence, I think that might that might be what I'm going to do here. Maybe in the corner. Now nah, that pigeonholes me. I want a lot of land. All right, let's see. I want, I think cars here all this stuff can be scavenged right like the the cars and all these yeah like, exactly all the stuff that's scavenged that's that's sitting around so i think um that's the most interesting thing to watch the first approaches I think, they're so different <laughs> i think i'm probably gonna take i think I, I want a lot of land but i also want to use I want to. I want to get some freebies, and that's. I think, uh, and that's what this fence is going to be here. So lumber, lumber, and cars and berries are important. Yep, yep, yep. I, there's not a whole lot right here, but I really wanted to place it right here. I think it's going to have to be over here to start then, because I need the lumber. So I'll tell you what, why don't we place this right? Let's go here for now, and uh, 
I'll set this up. So I need to place my storages first, it looks like. And these, yeah. be, these could be anywhere. If I place these over top of a resource, do I lose the resource? Yep, completely. Okay, so I definitely don't want to necessarily do it if I don't have to. So how about right here? Right next to the resource. All right. So that's A and B. A is the landing zone. B is... I guess they're both landing zones. How how, are, how do they differ? <laughs> um, the container is always getting dropped. And then if you trade, it gets picked up. And the other spot is used for the next container. I like so how... Just changes. I like how the, this is like a giant drone. But it's <laughs> broken. It's like, it's like it was salvaged oh, and they just <laughs> fixed it up. <laughs> well, you, you, gotta, you gotta adapt in the zombie apocalypse. Yeah, okay. Okay, cool. So these are our scientists. I guess I start with 15 of them and I'm gonna pause first to see this. So um, when I placed it here, I didn't plan on keeping the square. And so I'm gonna take and just start off, I guess. With, I got 800 wood to start. We gonna use it. And I think we're gonna say that I wanna take, and this is probably gonna take a while, but I think the first night, unless it's different from the tutorial, the first night there wasn't any zombies. I'm gonna count on that being the case today. It's the case. Okay, <laughs> okay. and then uh, I'm gonna go like this. And I'm gonna just take, I don't wanna get rid of all these resources though, that's the thing, so. You have the there zombie awareness level on the left bottom. This then shows you when the first zombie hordes are arriving. Okay. Like okay. when you're dangerous to the zombies, when they get aware of you because you've built big. Oh, so they get more aware. So the bigger I get, yep. the more aggressive they get. And the harder the waves so get, yes. maybe I shouldn't have done this as an idea because <laughs> now I'm going to be getting very big. Okay, no problem. We can adapt. I'm nothing if not flexible. Go hard or I, go home. <laughs> I sound really confident when I said that. Did you hear my the confidence in my yeah. voice? It was like, <laughs> this guy knows what he's doing. Okay, I'm going to place this there, and then this goes all the way over here. So I, I think it's going to take a long time to build these fences. But that's yeah, what I was we... thinking of blocking this off like that and having all of this land. It's just kinda, stretchy, yeah. Just kind of using this as, free, as, a, as a free fence, if you will. So we'll just kind of do that. Okay, so the first thing I need, of course, is the resource post. So knowing that there is no zombies on the first day, I'm going to just count on my guys being really good at this and taking out take out this fence. Maybe not the whole thing. I, I, I take that back. I don't want to take the whole thing. Can I cancel the job after I've told them to do it? I think if you uh, hold control and, and track over it. Yeah. Oh, okay. Nice. All right. So I'll just take that one little bit out, and then if I need to rebuild it, I can. All right, so the next thing is we wanted to, it was production tab, I think. I've been, I yeah. did the tutorial like 24 hours ago, so I should know this already. Um, let's say resource camp. We gonna need lots of wood, folks. We're gonna take the wood and I think maybe even get uh, over here, get some of these berries. I need some of these berries too. So we'll get the wood, the stuff over there too. Two resource camps and then a hauler. I think you'll reach both, won't you? Tell me you'll reach both. You know what? This is close enough to both. No, it's not. Well, it is for now. Put it there. All right. Now it says they can't reach it, and that's just because they haven't deleted that fence yet. But, exactly. <laughs> but you know what? They're going to delete this fence. They're going to delete this one right here, too. All right, my builders, go forth and do building things for me. <laughs> uh, I think you can even assign more. There's also the nifty little shortcut. If you hold control and press it, it signs all the, the slots available. Okay. I I think I clicked it repetitively to do that, but it still served it. I still did it. Definitely. Okay. <laughs> uh, so once they set up the resource camps, uh, hopefully they get to building the fence right away. That's like priority number one, because I think the fences, I, the, if I remember correctly, the fences are, they're really tough. Like the zombies don't do a ton of damage to them. I can survive quite a, quite a while. Yeah, it depends on the zombies. <laughs> he's they don't, they he's like, oh, weapons. he's so innocent. He doesn't know. Okay, okay, <laughs> okay. Uh, we'll put a, we're gonna put a gate right there because if another thing I remember is that the zombies like to attack the gate. Yeah. So if I place a gate there, I can kind of control where they're gonna ultimately try to attack me from, and that seems like a good strategy too. Why are you go over? Don't go over here first. Well, I guess it doesn't matter. The whole thing needs enclosed, but. It's, I guess it's probably better that you focus on one side before another instead of doing 50-50. That way, at least I get 
you know, some of the land over there. All right, helicopter arrived, and I gained nothing. Fantastic. <laughs> Fantastic. Nothing. I, that's, that's, that's how it works with me here. All right, so I need a couple of structures, right? We need a kitchen. We need yeah. a bedroom. We need a science lab. And then after the science lab, we need a place to train the... Okay, you call them Humbies? Yeah, exactly. Humbies. These are these are zombies that have that have started the process at least of being turned back into a human. Yeah, yeah. human zombie Humbie. And yes. we have Humbie one, two, three. Those yeah. are the intermediate stages. So it's it's a, a linear progression of healing. And every time the Humbies also get abilities like they are a bit faster or can produce a bit faster and are better at defending and stuff. Okay. So I'm going to place, uh, I don't know how big these structures should be. Um, so I'm going to go with just a meat cultivator here. And then I'm going to place a dining table right over here. And then I can place the little feeding pile thing kind of right here. That seems like it's an okay place to do it. And then uh, we'll place a door right there. So that is going to take care of our kitchen once they build it. But is there a way for me to prioritize in rapid succession a certain fence line first? Can I say, yeah. focus this first? You can use the star symbol star. and drag an area over what you want. Like that. Oh, yeah. wonderful. That's that's fast. All right. And I'll do that one too. So at least they get one side done so that, I mean, honestly, if they don't get the whole thing done, the zombies can just go around anyway. But we can survive one night, all right? We can do it. <laughs> one night, no problem. I'm not going to be the guy that just dies on the first night, okay? <laughs> no. That never happened before. No, never. <laughs> we just we don't talk about that ever. Uh, bedroom. Let's see. I think I don't know how big it needs to be, but I think maybe seven, seven or something is fine. This I have a feeling the kitchen's gonna need to be bigger later. Maybe you might uh, maybe you wanna come over. You can expand it later on. Yeah, 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 yeah. Just, we have but, a tool there. But if I put the bedroom right next to it, it might make it a little harder to expand upon it. So I'm thinking the bedroom. I'm gonna place that. Well, kind of wanted the science lab to be close to the gate so that. When we we freeze them with snowballs, <laughs> we can, uh, yeah, that's the that's the thing we're gonna do. Um, let's take the bedroom. I'm, I was gonna go like this for now in the bedroom, I guess. It doesn't have to be super big right away. Uh, and then we'll place the door, and we'll have that door be right over here. And then I think eventually I'll take this and spread it out that way. But I want them to build the fence before everything else. So all to the builders now. Uh, and then actually I need a few less p builders because otherwise I'm gonna run out of wood No, I got set. I got 800 wood to start I think 800 wood should be enough to build these this fence line I shouldn't need any more wood to do that and then once we got the fence in we just I mean There's a ton of wood here. We can just collect it afterwards. So I think we prioritize building above everything else That sounds good to me. In fact, I'm gonna we take out one of these haulers and also boost your wood by using the trade button at the bottom left you can order free wood. Bottom left, there's a trade button. Yeah. Uh, uh oh. Yeah, that one. The the the, the crates uh, next to the the head, the zombie head. This one is a trade yeah, button. Yeah, exactly. I'll, I'll, I can order <laughs> free wood. Yeah, Just... it comes from your Moose Lab headquarters. Oh, I get it. Actually... These are free resources. Oh, that's nice. Okay. Yeah. Well, I want all of it. Thanks. <laughs> Bring it in. Yeah, just take the free stuff. Sure. Headquarters has the, more wood. All right. You actually see the, the helicopter arriving on the, on the world map. Um, it has a travel time. So if you so there's put map. in more stuff, it takes longer. So there's a world map. And do we eventually get to go out and explore the various different places in the world map, like expeditions and stuff from camp? We have plans. But, okay. Uh, those are a bit, bit further away for now. Um, Far away for now. Okay. Just, cool, yeah, cool. It's just a mission selection. For um, I, I realize there's so much game that I won't be able to show in just this video, but is there anything that you guys are working on that you're allowed to share that's like, what's next for the game that's not, uh, that's not going to be visible today? Very big feature that's coming up is production statistics because um, resources are very important in our game. We have simple resource chains like... Um, Vegetable and berries become meat and, and machine. Mm -hmm. And with the production statistics, we get a screen. We have graphs and can analyze um, if um, resources are getting low. And 
is very important for the later part of the game that you see early on if things get get um, get less basically yeah okay cool I'm just gonna prioritize the entire fence and then after that it gets a lot less urgent to man the barriers because then it's then we then we look at defenses as opposed to just the the, board, the broad like border of things uh but do i get resources back for tearing down the fence yeah exactly so um, you get the, full build, the, full, uh, the full build cost you get back only if it's damaged you get less okay so i can tear down this whole fence right here this gives me some wood back there. Of course, now I'm like yeah. committed to the exterior fence over there because if this <laughs> fence doesn't get finished, then we just have no place that's safe. So I'll have to go in. I'll have to go indoors, and I'll click this little button, and I'll all run inside, which I, I think that would require me to have an inside. So maybe we should Almost get this inside. done too. <laughs> yeah, yeah, get this done too, guys. Uh, all right. So I'm on max builders. Is there any way I can get more builders now? You can or... open the tech tree with F1, and then you see you have tier upgrades. And if you upgrade in tier, you get more slots for builders, and you also can auto more scientists. But that requires me to have science. Ooh. Okay, so uh, I, I, I maybe I'm building a little slower than most players, only because I focus so much on this fence. But I think it's it's the long game, and it's... It's an investment in my future. It's going to be fine. Um, let's take the science room. And I'm going to make building a... Building definitely quite big. Like, it's oh. super interesting. Some people build so small. Some people start off so big. Yeah. <laughs> very, this is this is, a, is this big for uh, the starter kitchen? No, it's no, fine. No, the kitchen is not big. Okay. Or the fence is. Yeah. The fence is big, yes. <laughs> I want definitely. lots and lots of land. Yes, all right. Well, it's, it's a bomb strategy for later on. Now you have time. Yeah. The zombies arrive, so I, I think it's a good strategy. Let's take in my. Then we can see zombies science, earlier. Science room I'll put right here for now. <laughs> put the door for it back here, though. I just want it to be. Don't have to access it so close to the fence. The first night, it's going to become night, very dark, but there's no threats the first night. You lucked out, scientists. Now get to work on the fence. You can check the timeline, and uh, you see um, what kind of zombie waves are coming up next night. Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay. I've... Oh, I can hear the howling. <laughs> okay. That's usually a bad sign, but tonight it's fine. Tonight it's gonna be okay. And I, I like how they walk. They're just, it's like a cute little waddle. They're so happy. <laughs> I, was, I feel like, I don't know, like you're, you're living in the apocalypse, dude. How can you be so happy? It's just maybe it's because you've oh you know what it is you guys have been underground in this cave for so long <laughs> you can finally you know breathe the pine trees you can smell the wonderful fresh air that's what it is i i guess i understand your happiness now carry on with yourselves happy scientists a glimpse of hope yeah well it i looks, guess it was a I trust science i'm thinking we're definitely going to get this fence done in time i think the first night I'm going to be fine. It looks yeah. like that fence is going to be done. So, uh, but I wonder though if we're going to run out of food because they haven't gotten the kitchen up yet, and feel like maybe, maybe we could just you know order some free food from our friends in the mountain, <laughs> like this. I don't even know if they're in the mountain. Where 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 is Moose Labs based? It's a, a mountain uh, lab. Yeah. Oh no. <laughs> it's, it's, it's this right here. Yeah, it's Usually it's in the mountain, definitely. Yeah, it's in the mountain. Yeah, yeah, it's inside this mountain. And then there's like these little cities and stuff here too. Is that part of the future plans? That's part of future plans, yeah. Future plans, yeah. Of, of course, plan that you have to cure the whole world, right? And right, yeah, you yeah. Can exactly. Rebuild cities and stuff. Yeah, exactly. All right, so I think I'm going to maybe, since I don't think it'll be a problem to finish this fence anymore, I think, I guess I'll prioritize... I mean, if you prioritize everything, then nothing is prioritized, I suppose. Mm. Do they still do it in the order that I prioritized it? Uh, I'm not sure. May, uh, the order counts a bit, but you have different priority uh, values. You can also prior a bit lower, like low, medium, high, and uh, super high. Gotcha. So I'm going to just place the beds 
like this for now. I don't have a couch. I don't have room for this couch. I need to make this place bigger oh, to no. put a couch in, but I guess maybe it's more important to have the couch than it is to have that extra bed, so yeah. go ahead and get that. different needs, and, uh, yeah. and I love how it's a cardboard box. <laughs> I'm going to put it in the middle of the room because that's just how my room has to be right now, <laughs> but eventually it'll it'll look like a, a big I don't know, I want to say like some sort of military barracks where there's just rows of beds and then the one couch. Um, if I have, do, do the Humvees care about the barracks and stuff? Like, will they sleep in those beds too, or? Yeah, they... they sleep in the same beds. They only eat different foods. The Humvees want raw meat. Right, and that's what the feeding pile slab here is for. It's yeah, put the exactly. raw meat in there. Yeah, okay. While they're building the barracks now. Now, next night we're gonna have six zombies, and I was really hoping to start making humbies, like on the first night. But this the fence, I, I, you know, I, I guess I just, just I just underestimated my my scientists' building abilities. I should have known that they would be just a little slower on the building. But it looks like my fence is done actually before the night was ended. So I now have a much bigger area than I started with, which, as you said, the zombies will get angrier and in and, and, and bigger numbers and stronger if I get stronger, I guess. So, sort of like yeah. a RimWorld-esque balance. Is that is that the idea? Similar yeah, you ways? Can also can, you can also check the danger level at the bottom left to see, like, in tooltip, what are the contributing factors to the threat. So that's yeah. what this 1.2 is. Yeah, exactly. All right, value indicates how aware the zombies are of your lab. This influences the number of zombies coming in the next night yeah. as well as their equipment. Higher number means more dangerous zombie groups attacking your lab. Up to a maximum of, well... Like 60 or something. Oh, oh, just 60. Okay, sure, sure. Yeah, that's higher than I thought it would go. Okay, um, electricity. I need to power this thing. Now, I left gaps in the fence intentionally so that I had places to put these power poles. But what I didn't I, could, I didn't estimate is whether or not it could go over the building. It can, okay, good. Uh, so we'll say it goes right in front of the door. That's fine, that connects that up. Uh, we're also gonna have defenses over on this side. And so I'll just put this, I guess, right here for now. And then also this can go right over, maybe like this for now. And then if I put the science equipment the zombie, the the de-zombification thing, whatever it's called. I could put that right by that power pole there. Okay. Yeah. Well, let's get this. Let's get this prioritized and this one. There you go. You do build it in the order that I place it. That's good. All right. So now we can get somebody to work on this meat cultivator. I suppose that means I got to let go of some of my builders. That's fine. All right. Carry on with your work. Let's see, put three people on that one. Let's get uh, th three people on that one's okay. And then the we haulers. Have that, yeah. You could also use that assignment overview screen, by the way, on the bottom. I don't know if you've seen it already or used it. There's like an assignment overview, then you can yeah. drag and drop your workers even. And I can drag and drop the workers? Yeah, you can take yeah. the worker. One of the workers, if, for example, if you click on the main storage on one of the workers. Main storage? Yep. Yeah, and then you click on one of the workers. Oh, no, no, the main screen. Um, main screen. Oh, yeah. Just, idle idle workers or? No, no where it says assignment. Middle. Here? Yeah, yeah, this one. This one, you can take it, drag and drop it. Oh, I see. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Okay. And turn yeah. on day or night shift, however so you want. So are there people who are not assigned in any of these columns? They would be idle, I guess, right? So yeah, that, yep. that's the other top, uh, top left. Right, can I can't. I can't drag an idle worker into it. No, you can. Oh, uh, I can. I guess I can just hit the plus sign too. That's that's you know. But you also can yep. drag him. It was he was at the top left, and there was this this, this line at the very top. There's oh, idle. okay, okay, okay. I see. So if I was to, for example, uh, maybe control click or. Ooh. You also can drag him to the top. That's how it. Okay, that's how it would be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I my instincts went with a right click to remove it. <laughs> so. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, it always makes sense. Uh, okay, so these buildings are all done now. So we have a functional meat cultivator and somebody to work that. Day and night, slaving away. Um, next, we really need science, I think. So let's get uh, 
research desks. And actually, I want to see how big this treatment chamber is. Yikes. Okay, you're a big, you're a big one. That's okay. Place that first. So I'm going to need help around this place. And I don't know if I have the time, but I'm starting to think this space is a little too crowded now. So uh, in the spirit of continuing where I've left off, I'm going to make a fence comes all the way out to about here and then hooks up to there. And we'll just queue that up. I don't know if they're going to be able to build that in time, and I think it's not going to be prioritized. But if they can build that, then I can make my science lab bigger, and I think that'll be a good thing. Uh, to start getting them captured, we need the snowball shooter. The snowball yeah. shooter. Like, well, is, the science of rotating thingies that shoot snowballs. And this is a little close to my fence, isn't it? I, you know, honestly, this gate will end up being way over here eventually, anyway. So, but the snowball shooter, uh, for now, um, I think maybe we could just stick it right back in this corner here. It's not really in the way of. Yeah, I could probably stick it right here, just in case they don't get that fence done. And right. um, this will shoot the zombies as they come to attack the fence. Yeah. And, Did you see uh, the access point uh, before the power pole? It will be uh, inaccessible. It will just tell you shortly when it's needed that it's not. Yeah. There we go. I got it now. Yeah. I'll move this out. one. There we go. And yeah. when they move that out of the, the way. Same problem with the treatment chamber. It's also built to the, the wall. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, it's too close yeah. to the wall. Yeah, yeah, I see. Well, it, this it is clearly... It's unreachable. I, I was building too big, and now it's clear that my building's <laughs> not too big. Okay, yeah. um, well, let's get another... I don't know if it's po if it's a good thing to have another resource. I guess I need another resource camp because I can't get rid of these trees. I don't like... I don't like losing resources. So, like, I'm gonna... I play the slow game, and it's maybe... I don't know, not what everybody else does, maybe, but I'm gonna <laughs> put another camp here and, and actually get these trees and then expand, I think, is probably all I'm gonna do. You guys actually might get this done. You know what? Let's just full commit. Here you go. Get that fence. There you go. You got this, builders. Tell you what, man. I don't know what they were studying inside that cave, but... <laughs> scientists they know how to take it they they can we can wield a hammer don't let anybody tell you differently scientists little you know nerds with glasses and stuff you give them a tool belt they'll make results right here it's proof okay so this thing shoots snowballs and i assume i have ice packs uh i have 200 of them in stock already do they ever yeah. melt who, who melts the zombies Ice no, no, the, the ice packs, oh. do they, do they melt? <laughs> no, no, no. It's just a resource you, know, you can stock up and oh, use okay. however you want. Okay, okay. So I don't have to worry about, like, you know, make it and then you, you, you know, you don't use them, then you lose them kind of thing. All right. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Less haulers, more... Just your snowball shooter uses a lot of these um, ice packs and you can start already building a machine that crafts the ice packs. Mm -hmm. But I... once you have done research... If I break down this uh, science, this treatment chamber, do I get all of the resources back or a portion of the resources back? How does it work? All the resources, uh, um, okay. as long as it's not damaged. As long as it's not damaged, okay. It looks yeah. to me like we're gonna have this fence done too. Oh, you guys are you guys are killing it! Oh man, we this is just like I'm, honestly, this is just like fence building simulator right now for me. <laughs> <laughs> so far, that's all this is. I've got I got to show the actual game. What is this? What am I doing? I'm sorry, everybody. You, uh, you're uh, you just coming here for fences. I'm your man. But uh, <laughs> if you wanted to see you know, how to play this game properly, <laughs> just seek other creators. Uh, all right. So, so it's actually like some of our playtesters. They also just focus on defense, defense, defense. <laughs> yeah? <laughs> and just, I'm not they alone. They ignore Humby 1, Humby 2 <laughs> for Good, a while. I'm not alone. <laughs> All right, so I think what we'll do then is, now that I have a little bit of extra room, I'm going to take the science room. Now, if I... I tried this in the tutorial, and it, I think it worked. If I say merge rooms, yeah. I just straight up go from this corner up, and then like this, that just expands this room. You are the first person that ever did it correctly from the first try. Yeah! <laughs> I, 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 tr I tried that out, as so I was like, I wonder if it'll let me merge with nothing. And it just, like, expanded it, so it's great. But you have to... Uh. You kind of have to put the whole the whole structure so like i can't really 
as, as far as I'm aware anyway. Maybe I'm wrong. But you have to throw over, yeah. Yeah, I can't, I can't just start on this corner. I got to start on the other one. So right here on this corner, and then I say, hey, guys. Oh, I don't want to lose those trees. I'll lose one tree. This will be an acceptable casualty. Oh, I, I have to make it minimum of two. It's a different right. room type, but that's why it uh, didn't want to merge. I'm going to just... Oh, is that what I did? I, yeah. didn't, I didn't select the proper but, room. Do... Yeah. I do that. It's this thing I don't do where I have to read the text on the screen in front of me, mm -hmm. and I just don't do it. <laughs> it's a thing. All you right. You could change um, room types, right? Yeah, you can change. Yep. Also. Nighttime. I don't know if anybody's outside the fence, but if you are, get in here. <laughs> All right. So now we're going to have our first zombie attack. And these things, thankfully, are automatically selected to be night shift only. Uh, so they're only going to work at night on these snowballs. At least at, at, and that's the only time zombies will attack us, right? Is that night? Yeah, exactly. Later, right. you might have Humbies that can get angry and also attack from the inside. Oh, that's a different. Can I follow this guy? I have like a follow cam. F. Yeah. What is the? Is there a key for that? Yeah, if you press F. F. Oh, just F. Oh, yeah. Okay, cool. Look at this dude. He's got his arms out and everything. He's so stereotypical. I love it. And there, some of them, they seem like they're. So does the snowball slow down their attacks too? Yeah, and their movement speed as well. And their movement speed. You can see speed. on the, the abilities icon, the right, uh, yeah. the, uh, the decrease in movement speed, but also in attack speed. Oh, I see. Yeah, yeah. Normal movement speed is five. What's the normal movement speed for one of my scientist dudes? Uh, 2.8. Oh, so they're much faster than us. That's good. It's important for zombie chasing actions. Uh, slower scientists. For the yeah, friend. yeah. <laughs> Okay, good. Now, do the Humbies lose their normal walking speed when they become Humbies, I guess, from zombies? So, in other words, if I make a Humbie, is he going to be yeah. like a faster moving helper then? Or is does he get slower he's, when he becomes more human? He's faster than humans, at least. I think like 3.6 or something. Okay. It's like a mix, human, zombie. So this one is now an ice cube. Just a frozen <laughs> block of ice. And we probably get, I don't know, with one of these things, what do you think? We can get maybe four of these dudes frozen tonight? Maybe? But I would like to also get some research going too. So let's get research desks. And I'm gonna make one that goes, like say here, here. Uh, a part of me wants to make, well, actually, you know what? Let's do this a little differently because I already have to move that thing anyway. So why don't we move you over here. Now, you're way over on this side of the room. And our scientists, as they go and work in their, their desks, they can, can be over here. Let's say one desk here, one desk here. That seems pretty neat. And then maybe we'll put one there and, I don't know, one over here. And then we'll have like a door on this side too, just to, I don't know, give them quicker access somewhere all right now of course i just moved my power so i have to read i have to do more power here um how much power do we start with it looks like negative 13 that's so my understanding is this we have solar panels on the top of this thing and that yeah. generates a little bit of power not a whole lot but a little bit of power during the day and then we run on an internal battery at night and so yeah as I expand this base bigger and bigger, eventually I am going to run out of power unless I do some science and get more generation capabilities. Yeah, exactly. And you also can press the, the power information at the bottom and you get like uh, more info. Holds out and uh, shows you more. Yeah. Okay. If you, can I do that with other things? I guess food. Yeah, can do that. food as yeah. well. Okay. Yeah. That's why they're on the ends. So they can be expanded. <laughs> oh, clever. Got it. Yeah. And then there's a worker overview. And so my workers, they get hungry, they get tired, they seek comfort. Do they get upset at me if I don't provide them with any of their needs? What would happen if I say, for example, don't provide them with a cardboard box to sit in front of? They um, <clears throat> deplete their need and then they deplete their mood and they are sad. And they are sad, they are reluctant to work. They okay, like, they won't work. They like actually cry 
and just stand around. <laughs> gotcha. Well, it looks like they stopped working the snowball shooter um, right before freezing this dude, which is okay. I think I'm I'm probably good with only two. If I can get two Humvees today, I, I think I'm okay with that because I don't have the facilities to treat their muscles because I need to get the skill training room anyway. So it's, it's not a big deal. Um, but the skill training room... I was kind of put them all the way in the back. I thought maybe just like send the zombies all the way back here, but I'm thinking they probably should put them integrated into society and everything since they're going to be working on these different stations. So why don't we start... Eh, there's an open space here. I don't think that's a bad thing. We could start really small with this too. We don't have to be very big. So let's say like a little room here would be okay, I think, for... My skill room we can put like a door on this side and then the leg press we can say maybe two let's do three leg presses in here with just like one of them oh i can't click it there it goes uh we'll just have one of them be prioritized just to make sure they do at least one of them um and then we now have as, as long as i have the staff which i don't currently because i have everybody spread out so much but um as long as i have the staff we can now go retrieve our two giant ice cubes and stick them in this machine and turn them into humbees and then yeah. that requires me to have meat which i have meat sitting out ready to go okay everything seems solid let's make sure then that we have working here as a slightly higher priority and we'll say that two of our research desks are a big priority for jobs. And just by setting their priority, they should maybe move to a new job, or do I have to actually unstaff them from other jobs that are lesser priorities? You actually have to unstaff them, but if you, when you unstaff them, they go to the more prioritized buildings first. Gotcha. Let's get rid of the builders for now, or at least some of the builders for now. We only really need one. Um, well, no, that's not true. I'm building this room, so I suppose I'll just do that and then as they get unstaffed from other things yeah that's fine they'll go work yeah. there anyway well, you, also have to, there and then... you also have to turn off your alarm that they get the ice cubes from outside oh right yes <laughs> the alarm the lock this they will not go outside the fence when this is on yeah yeah okay so now they can go and hopefully get this um now science room did you guys start where you haven't worked here yet hmm who is going to work in this place? Let's say... Man, am I really stretched that thin? That looks like Maybe I am. on the resource camps. Yeah, I am. All right, There's one on each. Resource camp. One on each resource camp. We'll do one hauler. My resource gathering is going to stink for a bit, but uh, at least I can get help. And then once I get help, then they can work those things. So okay. we're actually converting the zombie now and getting a new worker. Uh, well, at least I thought we were. He decided to, to walk away. Where's he, what's he doing? Where's he, where'd he go? You can't just leave him half half baked in here, dude. You gotta come, what, what are you, 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 you're just too hungry to continue? What is this? Come on now. You can, you can check on him in the treatment chamber. Um, the, you can take the worker. He's absolutely. I mean, the, the, <laughs> He's absolutely still a zombie all the way. They just put him in here and then said, nah, this is a jail cell now. We're not actually into converting you. All right, I'm going <laughs> to I'm gonna unstaff this and see if they go work over here instead. Come on, guys. There you go. Wheelbarrow yourself over here. Oh, he needed wood. Yeah, yeah, he needed the resources. This is where having more people working here is a helpful thing so that one can wheel it in and convert and the other one can put yeah. the resources in. Okay. All right, convert this poor sap. So that he can become free labor for me. There we go. Look how happy he is now. This big yellow eyes. Like he's seen the light. A level one Humby. So he needs meat. He needs a bed to sleep in. And he needs uh, muscle training. Must train to regain full control over their muscle movements. Overcoming rigor mortis is a lot of work. I imagine, yeah. Congrats. You treated your first zombie and made a level one Humby. Your journey to level two Humbies can now begin. Make, uh, take good care of your level one Humbies, or they can get angry. Provide them with meat and a training room. That's what I'm up to. I'm providing meat. But you know what? I've been I've been getting a little bit of research. It, it took a little bit to get there, and I probably should have done it faster than the fence. But um, we took a little bit to get there, and we did. 
And um, now I can go into the tech tree and we can really look at it and just kind of show and see what options are available here. So um, I think maybe the wall decorations are a low priority. What I probably would want to focus on first, I would think anyway, given my current supplies, um, is I, I would say either the vegetable and growing, probably just to make sure I always have food or electricity production, which that kind of depends on whether I'm going to... Oh, nope. No. Uh, I think the Bellow Breeze are first. This lets me have more snowballs, although I have 122 left. That'll last me a little bit. I can go fast. <laughs> I can, I suppose, yeah. Especially since we'll probably get hit by zombies every night now. We'll go Bellow Breezer first. And so this works with just a generic pool of research. As long as you have the quantity, you can click the button and instantly have it. You don't have to yep. select it and then it takes a certain amount of time. Uh, okay, so we can just use those as, a, as for everything. Oh, this thing is just, it's moving around. And there's nothing in it. Yeah, it looks like a bug. Three, three out of ten. I found one. Did I find a bug? <laughs> oh, you always gotta find them. You gotta find them before you can squash them. All right, that's so true. Yeah. We'll get uh, we'll get another dude, and then that's gonna be our second Humby. And then it's really just about yeah, and here. So it looks like we got at least we got this room done. Um, I think. Heal room. It looks like it's got a bright blue floor though. They finished almost everything except the floor, or is that not done? Is it is, is it is done? No, it's, it's, a, it's just how the floor looks. <laughs> it's the, the the gym room floor. This is the gym room floor, so it's it's blue. Yeah. Oh, okay. It had this aesthetic to be like it was the same as is sort of like the yeah, unfinished thing. Never noticed, but you're right. Yeah. So I'm looking at so so this is done. So the Humby can now go over here and uh, he'll use the leg process for for exercise. And that will yep. at least, maybe not make him happy, but at least it will prevent him from becoming very, very upset. At least I hope that that's the case. Um, so we got two of them now. And I can now have them staffed in other things. So like, Patty, Tika. Can we rename zombies? Not yet. No. But as a streamer, I would love to name all of my mindless followers. <laughs> Just put them right here and say, I can't believe they're still following me. Now I need to name you after this Humvee. That's all a right. good idea. Yeah, there we go. Um, we need that. <laughs> oh, yeah. And I think, I think that's like the basic of my setup now. I mean, we're pretty much set up as for the basics anyway. Um, is there any other room that is really important that I've missed? Suppose... Uh, the Bellow Breezer, I haven't done that yet, so maybe I should put that in. Maybe we'll have that be near the, I would think near the defenses. That would be a good idea. Maybe, um, maybe we put that over, over like this. Let's stick it over here for now, I guess. Yeah. And so usually... they'll, do they have an input to make the snowballs? I didn't check they that. No, no, they just, uh, the Bellow Breezer doesn't need input. It just they just, they just make them per hour. From, from cold air. <laughs> From the cold air, okay, yeah, yeah, the cold northern mountain air of probably Canada or something. Where are we? Is this? Do you have like a, a generic? Well, this is the United States. It looks very much United States like. So, yeah, we're like northern. My my geography is terrible. We're like what northern British Columbia or something here. That's where Moose Lab is. So we're almost Alaska over here where we are. I, I actually did research for that and. The funny part is, it's close to a lake called Slave Lake. <laughs> oh, is it now? Yeah. Nice. <laughs> oh, this is appropriate. There you go. Darby Quillian. Quill Quillan? Quillan. Yep. Uh, yeah, and then we just keep researching and we just keep expanding things out. And uh, there's a furnace here, which could provide us with more metal. Metal is going to be needed because I'm noticing that these two things... These two leg presses, they don't have the resources, probably because they need metal. Since I don't have a way... Well, I've got this pickup truck. All right, tell you what we'll do. The pickup truck's not in range of any of the resource camps, so that's what's happening. We'll move the resource camp over here. And we'll get it maybe right about like... Yeah, right about here should be fine. Right next to the hauler, it's okay. And then I can tell this resource camp to prioritize only... Oh, I tried to, my, my camera's in the way. I tried to move the interface, like drag and drop, but 
they can tell it. I'm just getting my camera out of the way for everybody. Uh, you can um, you can tell the resource camp to like say not target everything, and instead target yeah. a specific resource or a group of resources, and um, and then they'll go and prioritize that. So now they're gonna break down this truck, and uh, yeah, we don't have to we don't have to wait for it anymore. Well, it's 45 minutes, and I was told that. They wanted a nice 45 minute session with me. And I think okay. this has been really fun and I'm definitely playing more. Cool. And um, I think you guys are on onto something pretty cool here. Um, I'm looking forward to following Thanks. development and, uh, and just seeing a whole bunch of these really quirky, permanently smiling scientists. I want Eureka <laughs> moments. I want to see lots of light bulbs, even if it's just metaphorical. I want to see lots of ideas coming out of this lab. And uh, I probably will go into getting the uh, vegetable production next, I think. We need to start working on food myself. But I guess this is a good time to, to, to say, is there anything else you guys want to say, at least to, to my community, about the game or, or anything? How do you want to close things out? We want to definitely thank you for your time and for having a first look at our um, yeah, early access version. And it was awesome to watch you play and see your attempts and approach on the game and how well you're informed already. Thank you for that. Yeah, yeah they cool. did a really well job um, in making it into the game without much of a tutorial help. Yeah, yeah. just <laughs> just a real real quick tutorial on just like the basics and how things built. And then yeah. it's just as simple as, you know, well, kitchen makes food, duh. Science room makes science, duh. So yeah, I mean, it's, <laughs> it's, it's really, it's not it's not that hard to get into. I think the, the learning curve on it is quite low. Yeah. So I, that's, that's a, a good very, thing. It's a big relief for me to hear that. Yeah, it's yeah. like a big challenge to get it accessible. And yeah, the, you, you are one of the first people that say it's very easy learning curve. <laughs> <laughs> okay, before we leave though, I have somebody in my base that's hostile. What happened? Yeah. And I totally didn't. I didn't lock down before the zombie apocalypse, so I don't know <laughs> if I have people outside the fence. But uh, oh, oh, no. Uh, oh no! Oh no! Well, well. Yep, I did. Somebody was outside the fence, and now one of my scientists have become have become Ooh. a zombie. Oh, poor Sparrow oh, M. Dangers of zombies. Unbelievable! Uh, you've distracted me. Yeah, it's our fault. Yeah. I'm very <laughs> easily, dist easily distracted anyway. Well, thank you for showing me your game. Thank you for making the game and sharing with me. And uh, I'm looking forward to uh, the future with it and uh, to see where it goes from here. Thank you but so much, Charlie. All right, thank guys, you yeah. thanks for watching. I appreciate it. Hit that like button. You know you want to. I, I know it's tempting to just like look at it and just be like, eh, I got better things to do, but just, just click it or I'll turn you into a Humvee. Take it easy. We'll see ya. Bye-bye. <laughs>